December 26th. On our way to Milwaukee. Jones, today we're gonna go on the hop in Milwaukee. It's an electric bus. Street car. Street car. Yes. And uh, we're gonna visit the Steiners as well. The cousins. The cousins, yes. yes. Liz and Dan. And Abigail and Graham. The streetcar, we haven't been on it before. It opened around Thanksgiving. Yep. And it's free for the first year. So you can just get on and get off wherever you want to go. We'll see. It starts kind of in the third ward and goes through downtown. Ready for the bus? Trolley, whatever the heck. Hopper. Street car. Alright. Yeah, you ready? Alright, we pick up Liz and Dan and roll. We're in Milwaukee. Almost to Liz and Dan's house. I'm starving. You should have eaten something. Should have we eaten something. Yeah, breakfast. yeah, 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 yeah. Just picked up. Dan and Liz and the rest of the Steiners and we've added Graham Nation. Graham. Welcome. Peter Thomas Steiner or is it Thomas Peter? Graham Peter Thomas Steiner. You Graham heading to the hopper? Peter Thomas Steiner. What is your what is your American boy's name or girl's name? Paloma. Paloma. <laughs> Can I tell you a story about American Girl? Yeah. Okay, so the woman who started it, her name is Pleasant. Roland and she lives in Madison and before she started American Girl I slept over at her house what mm -hmm, at her guest house what but we had dinner at her house and she told me I looked like Ernest Hemingway's daughter I agree how, how did you meet her well, I had this friend, Teal Shawl, and Teal lived close to Pleasant Roland. It was on the lake in Middleton. Uh -huh. And Teal's parents were going away for the weekend, and they were having her sleep over at Pleasant's house, in the guest house, and then she wanted to have a friend sleep over, so she wasn't alone in the guest house. Well, what did she do before American Girl? So, um, her husband, ha I, I can't remember what her husband did, but she, she had another job. Yeah. But she let us She's go your age? Pleasant? Yeah. Pleasant is probably like 70-ish oh, now. Oh, gosh. So she was older than I was. I was probably Owen's age, 14, in the 8th grade. Huh. And she let us go into her closet, and she had all of these very fancy ball gowns. Huh. And we were trying them on with all the high heels. And she was quite fancy before she even started American Girl. That's my American Girl story. Shake Shack is the sh That's what I've heard. Yeah. Never been. You guys. Ah! We got two Shake Shackers back here. It looks really tough. Look at it. Here we go. I'm going to close Dude. <laughs> That's just like the one they have in school. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to get these little ones. Except this one is like newer and sleeker. Let's eat. Get ready to get on the... Hop. Hopper. Hop. No, the hop. Who wants to go on the bus? Me. It's not the bus. <laughs> it's a street car, Tom. Who wants to get on the street car? 
buses are going down this same street, so don't confuse the I've two. been on the Badger bus. Oh, the one to, from Milwaukee to Madison? Is that it? Vikings gloves. Just want to just want to broadcast them. I I I got the other one. <laughs> yeah, there is no evidence. You do not. I'm gonna put this one on your head. <laughs> ah! This is pretty cool, huh, Jones? <laughs> Jones just likes the window. Oh, and then you see this. Maybe I get home. This is the intermodal phase. Um, Please watch your step while boarding or exiting the seat. We're not leaving or letting people out. Now that we're on the hop, is it, is it as much fun as you hoped it would be? Yeah? It's really, I think it's nice. You like it? We're going to go up here and we're going to turn around and we're going to head back. And then we're going to go to the shoe store. Now at Who likes the shoe store? Doors will open that guy. Right. Alright, go ahead, Liz. You're good. Well, you you what do you think, Jones? Is that good? Right. Is it worth the trip? Little. They went backwards and forward. <laughs> I think so. What did you guys think? And you start. Oh, excuse me, Steiner. This is her house. She was wearing my Vikings glove to stay warm today, though she won't admit it. Because now I think what did Abigail lose her pink glove? Mm -hmm. And then Abigail had to wear Liz's gloves. That's right. <sighs> there it is. I'm trying to get the fingers out. <laughs> Bye guys. Here you go. You can work on that during the. 